here is to answer Tarantula Cat's questions. They are the top five reasons I keep tarantulas. The number one reason is that all my life I had a kind of fear fascination. So I wasn't the type of person who was just going to be scared and, ew, that's gross, get it away from me. I'm more the type of person where if I feel afraid of something, I want to explore it and get to know it better and see if it's an irrational fear or if it's something that I really don't want to explore and there may be a reason. And so spiders started out being something that from a young age I was a little scared of and uh, um, I, I wanted to look at pictures of them, I wanted to just learn more about them and it took decades before I could really start to look at a spider in a way that was more in depth because when I was a kid I would open a book and look at a spider and I had to close it. Um, I had this strange tingling feeling in my arms. I was so scared just looking at it and thinking about the fangs and like injecting venom and another interesting correlation at the time is that I was afraid of needles and I overcame that as well. And just looking around on YouTube, I began watching videos and I watched a lot of different channels and came to, of course, um, Dark Den, Exotics Lair. I watched them for hours and really desensitized myself even further. And I really loved the videos showing how to take care of them, how to feed them, how to transfer them. And it seemed like I can do that. That isn't so scary. The next reason, reason number two, is that I love science. And spiders, tarantulas, you know, entomology, all of that. You know, just the whole, the whole field of biology is fascinating to me. And it always has been since I was a kid. Uh, one of my toys when I was a kid was a microscope and another of my toys was um, a pond that it was basically my pond and all of the wildlife that that went cycled through the pond each season was there for me to investigate and the insects and my grandmother would help me um, capture them and we'd identify what species they were so it really was a part of my childhood uh, being outdoors and and studying nature. The third reason is that I'm getting inspiration from having tarantulas as pets. I, uh, as some of you may know, I am a duck keeper. I have several rescue ducks and um, ducks that I had before I started rescuing. And, you know, they're a lot of work and I adore them. And it's very expensive. To, to keep them. It is in the hundreds every month um, to feed them and provide their, you know, their bedding. And it's hard work if, if something happens to me. It's, it's a difficult physical task, you know, to change their bedding out and everything. And, you know, it, it, they have relatively long lives. And when I go on vacation, I'm, I always hire somebody. So, um, tarantulas are a pet that uh, you know they, they, they I can I can watch them and study them and I can have them in in my office with me while I'm writing and so they're a source of inspiration in the same way that the ducks are and I can go outside and spend time with the ducks outdoors and then I can come inside and spend time with tarantulas indoors so I have I'm surrounded by these lovely creatures both outdoors and indoors, and I really don't feel that I can beat that. Um, number four, longevity. I, I really love the fact that a lot of tarantulas live a long time. I am one of those people that I say I am with my pets um, for a lifetime. I will keep them from the beginning till the end. I want them to be happy, I want them to be healthy. Um, as happy or happy as a tarantula can be. It, it gives me something to do um, in my spare time. 
Um, and number five kind of ties in with a little bit about what I was saying when I talked about inspiration. I went off topic a bit and I talked about the ducks and how much work it is. And with tarantulas, it's really low maintenance. So I can fulfill my, my curiosity or my, my desire to, you know, observe and photograph and make videos and study. And I have a lot of animals that are aging right now. So I think it's important that, you know, I, if I'm going to have a lot of something or a good number of something, let it be something that is, you know, easy to afford, easy to care for. Um, because I'm, you know, going to be starting some new projects and I would really like to have that time available but also have the time to enjoy this variety of animals. I hope uh, that answers the top five reasons why I keep tarantulas and um, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and definitely go check out Tarantula Cat. She came up with this um, top five reasons video and it's great. So till next time.